the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video like unlike and uh, equivalent fractions uh, let us demonstrate these concepts uh, with this example now i have a paper in front of me which has been made into five uh, equal portions now I am considering one portion out of these five portions and uh, this is called 1 by 5. When I just take 1 with respect to 5, uh, I call that as 1 by 5. You have a numerator which indicates 1 and then there is a bar and the denominator is indicating 5. Now, in the second instance, uh, out of the 5, I take a 2. So, in the whole 5, I take 2 portions. Uh, so, that means, uh, in the second instance, uh, the fraction is 2 by 5. Right. In the third instance, uh, I am taking three portions out of the five portions. I am taking three portions. In the first, I took one. In the second, I took uh, two. In the third instance, I am taking uh, three. So, the denominators are the same. Now, what is the difference between these three fractions? Uh, these three fractions have uh, different numerators, but uh, the denominators are same. So that means uh, the whole is same, but uh, the parts are different. So in such a case, we call these fractions as like fractions. So the like fractions are decided by the denominator. If the denominators are different, uh, then we cannot call them as like fractions. So, irrespective of what is the numerator value, if uh, the denominator values are same, then we call this as like fractions. Now we have four fractions, 2 by 3, 4 by 5, 5 by 7, 6 by 11. Now all these numbers have braille markings and so the visually impaired child can explore and understand. Now is there any similarity between these uh, fractions? Well, no similarity between these fractions. Now we have the denominators which are different. Uh, we have uh, the numerators which are different. So, in the like fractions, we mentioned that uh, the denominators when they are equal, we call them as the like fractions, irrespective of whatever is the value in the numerator. Now, as the denominators are different, uh, we call them as unlike fractions. Now, let us have a fraction. The first fraction is 1 by 2. Okay, the second fraction is 1 by let us say 4 and the third fraction is let us say it is 1 by 3. Now are they like fractions? The child should not be tempted to say by looking at uh, the same value in the numerator and call that as uh, like fractions. The fraction whether it is a like fraction or unlike fraction is decided only by the denominator and not by the numerator. Though in the second set of fractions that is 1 by 2, 1 by 4 and 1 by 3 though the numerator values are same the denominator values are different and therefore these fractions are also not called as uh, 
the like fractions these are unlike fractions to summarize the like fractions are those where the denominators are of the same value the unlike fractions are those where the denominators are different uh, irrespective of whether the numerator values are same or different now let us uh, take uh, one more uh, type of fractions now let us take uh, another set of fractions uh, 1 by 2 and then the second fraction is 2 by 4 and the third fraction is 4 by 8 so two or more fractions representing the same part of the whole same part of the whole now i am taking a rectangular sized paper now this is a whole part now i am getting one half half the part so what i've done the first fraction one by two that means the whole remains the same so i have made that into two parts now in the second instance i am taking two portions out of the four portions now i am folding it horizontally and vertically and making it to four portions if i am taking two portions out of the four portions then it is 2 by 4 again the whole has not changed the whole has not changed now i am making it again into further half that means no i am making the whole into eight portions out of the eight portions i am taking four portions these fractions are called as equivalent fractions when you multiply the numerator of the fraction and denominator of the fraction by the same number then you get 2 by 4 similarly when you divide the last fraction 4 by 8 numerator by 2 and denominator by 2 what happens uh, you get 2 by 4 so that means uh, the fractions are unaltered when the numerator and denominator are multiplied by the same number or divided by the same number so these fractions are called as uh, equivalent to fractions so in this video we have discussed uh, the distinction between the like fractions unlike fractions and also explained the concept of equivalent fractions